In this video, we are going to learn about the form sense and AI move to looping code. So first thing, let's add a simple, I already created a simple a character and then I give it name that master AI and let's add a simple form sense. So we can search C and we can found the form sense and compile and save. Now, once we create a form sense component, we have some callback function kind of like our event that form C and noise. Let's use the form C. So it will be executed that when it saw something or see something it will be do some so for that let's cast our cast to first person character that is our main player and then let's add our main group input that is AI move to so now we can get it like this the pawn as you can see the AI move to block have a executor that is execute this group in and second it's have a pawn that is basically the self target so from that we need to give that self preference so it will be work for this character then we found a destination vector uh, variable or uh, executor that is basically if you want to move the ai like yourself wire or at wire basically or which location you want to move so you can use the direction but if you have kind of like a target actor like the, if you have any actor reference you can use them too also okay so you can use the both method but in my case let's use because we are casting our character so we have our character reference so we can directly drag and drop the targeted actor then second we found the radius the radius will be a give a uh, executor or basically it's verified that from how much distance it should be stopped like for example you are at here and your ai at here so if you decrease that size kind of like zero it will become near and if you give or increase that value to 100 or 200 it will be a step from you like the AI will become and it will be uh, try to maintain the distance between okay so simply let's add here let's give it our character that 200 so it will be stopped there and once it's stopped there we found a successful node that yep we are catch till uh, AI or the AI successfully get some you know we can attack or do whatever we want also at this time if our phone says is working let's give a variable that yep it's true we are seeing that character or our player if it's false let's give it that executor that no there's a we are not uh, we are nothing uh seeing or we are don't seeing anything okay then second let's add a simple uh, character speed component like if you want to uh, speak if you want to control your ai speed so set max walk speed and by default the walk speed is basically 600 so you can control that with this so let's give it value to 500 so now it will be always use this one compile and save so now if i do like if i drag and drop this thing and now also one more thing i need to do is basically I, we need to add the navigation match volume at here so our ai will be understand that from where it can be go and at what look and which location it can be go it can't be go so just go to volumes and then add a navigation match volumes and just make it like this for seeing the activity you can hit by selecting this navigation match value you can hit p and you can check that at which location we can go our ai can be go the green location it's meant that our ai can be go so compile and save now click on play now let's pick up our gun and let's try to chase our ai as you can see he's see us and he's coming see it's very easy to use the ai is very uh, quite enough good so i just hope you understand and uh, how to create a ai so thank you so much for watching us love you all bye bye see you in the next video